Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Sunday, October 8th, and it's currently 12.03 p.m., and I have someone you guys have not saw in a long, long time. Well, I know I showed her at the end of the video with Eilina, but that was for like literally three seconds. But you guys have not saw her since June. And that is so crazy. So I'm back with Solana. I'm just going to be giving her a simple outfit change. And I cannot find my little small vlogging camera. I don't know where the heck it went. I haven't made a video in a long time. So of course I don't know where it's at. So I'm using my big DSLR camera. So hopefully it's good for you guys. And uh, that's pretty much it. Before I go ahead and get started in this video, since a lot of people have probably clicked out by now, I'm wanting, I'm wanting to start getting better and saying this at the beginning as well as the end. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you guys can be notified when I post another video. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'm also starting to record and upload shorts. And there's a whole separate tab for it. It does not show up in the videos. There's a tab next to videos and it says shorts so you guys can go ahead and check that out as well anyways let me show you guys what she's going to be wearing it's just something simple it's still hot here it was so hot yesterday it was like 116 degrees i was like oh my gosh but i'm gonna be wearing this puma shirt that i got her you guys probably saw this in the haul as well as the vlog but it's just this gray shirt and it says puma in pink and it's like glittery and i think it's really really cute so i just got that for her about well over a month ago now and then i i'm pairing it with these blue jean shorts the only problem with these are they're kind of short like they're short shorts and she does have like the cloth that's like all the way down like her cloth is really really long so her cloth might show a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. And she does have her little jelly sandals on still. And I think I may put them back on her or I might grab her brand new Ugg slides that I got for her and I might put those on instead. I will be doing her hair, just not in this video because usually it takes me a long, long time to do her hair and then when I am recording, I feel like I have to rush. So I don't want to do that. So anyways, let me go ahead and change her. I had a topic. Actually, before I get started on the topic, I do want to say I don't know where to change her at. She's a big girl and is very crowded. So I didn't know where to change her at. So this chair is the only place I could change her. And as you guys can see, her whole body is not in it. Or like her whole body isn't in the frame so it might be a little hard for you guys to see if this video does not turn out good with me changing her here I really don't have anywhere else to change her at, so I can try probably one more spot which is on the floor in front of the door but if I do that video and it still doesn't turn out good then she'd probably be one of those babies that I just change off camera until further notice so anyways the topic for today's video is you guys know she always has her little unicorn with her. Why does artists not have prices when selling their babies? Now I'm going to look at this from different perspectives. And I'm going to also let you guys know like why they do. Why some decide to share prices and why some decide to say, you know, DM me. So the ones that show prices, they're great. They're very open and honest about the pricing. When they have the prices out, you know you're not going to be getting told a different price when you message them. And I think that's why a lot of people don't like when people say message me for the price because they fear that they're going to get a different price from everybody else for some odd reason. And sometimes that does actually happen. But usually people only do that to like those that are like out there and known and things like that they don't usually do that do that with like collectors that don't really show their collection but i have heard of artists and collectors giving different prices out to people and not even friends because 
you know sometimes friends get like a little discount and things like that but i'm talking about like in general like they'll tell someone a different price and then tell someone a, another price so i can again i can see why people are hesitant and don't want to reach out and don't want to buy a baby that does not have the price so i completely understand that now going back to a seller's point or an artist's point i can see why people don't want to have their prices out there because they get told you know that's too much or your work isn't worth that or why are you pricing this baby at this price when it should only be this price or ooh, that's how much you're wanting for the baby i could just buy it somewhere else for cheaper so then they're like well okay then i just won't share the price right now because that's the reaction that they get and i can also understand them not wanting to share the price and then and then they get tons of messages i can also understand why some people would prefer the price to be out there so i'm, I'm kind of going back and forth between like both perspectives because they see like you know send me a message or pm me and they're like well if i can't afford this baby then i don't want to think that i don't want them to think that i'm wasting their time but once again i would say this probably like all the time if you let someone know that hey i can't they, they tell you the price and you're like hey i can't afford the baby no one's gonna be mad at you you're not gonna get caught a time waster you'll be a-okay now the ones that get the price they know the price and they continue to message acting like they're going to buy and then they're like well i don't have enough money two weeks later then that's when it's considered time wasting but simply asking for the price because it's not out there it's not time wasting i don't know why people think it is i don't know who said it is but it's not all right so as far as me when i share on instagram and when i share on youtube i do not share the price because i i just feel like if you're seriously interested you can message me and a lot, i get the i get asked the price a lot of times for the babies and sometimes i'll give like an estimate on how much the baby is sometimes i just say you know dm me and sometimes i actually give out the price on instagram and youtube after i comment that i hear nothing back from people so it just helps me narrow out who is actually going to waste my time because like i said if you're seriously interested you would message now i am in a few facebook groups i really refrain from using them and posting in them i don't like posting in them there's many reasons why i don't like posting in them but that's not this video so i don't really post in the facebook groups but some every now and then and sometimes i'll post at them yeah her cloth is showing does this look ridiculous guys <laughs> it does it absolutely does can you guys see it would have been cute though it's just she has too much cloth i wish her leg would extend it because it's her her vinyl starts right back up at the knee and I wish it was just like a tad bit more vinyl that way that she can wear shorts and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave them on her, but I'll probably, I don't know. I might not even change it because, oh well, everyone knows it's a doll anyways. So anyways, what was I saying? Oh, I post in the Facebook groups, you know, every now and then, but it's like really rare that I post in them. And when I do post them, I do put the price. I go ahead and I put the price because I thought the biggest time wasters were on Instagram and they're really, they're really in the Facebook groups. Like, oh my gosh, I see like the same person always commenting on every single baby that's for sale in the groups, doesn't buy any of them. So I just always put the price on Facebook. Plus the people over there are a lot more ruder and they will call you off if you don't have the price and they'll just literally call you a scammer because you don't have the price so i just go ahead and put the price so i can avoid all of that extraness and yeah i had other things to say but then i had got off topic talking about the shorts and now my mind is blank aye 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 
Um, I don't know. My mind is seriously blank. I guess I can still talk about it, but there was something else I wanted to say. But, again, I guess I can understand why some people would prefer if the price was out there and why they don't purchase if the price isn't out there. But, honestly, that isn't going to affect me at all. If they don't put the price, I'll just message for the price. I mean, I message for the price for pretty much almost all of my dolls, except for a few that had the price out there. But for the most part, I had a message for the price, and I was okay with that. They texted me, and they let me know, and I was able to afford them, and I wanted them, and I got them. Now, sometimes I do message for the price, and it's, like, absolutely ridiculous. And I say, hey, I'm not. I'm no longer interested, but thank you for taking time out to answer me and leave it at that because there was a baby that was up for sale uh, last year. No, I think it was last year, the end of last year or the beginning of this year. And the baby was up for sale for about $600. And I was like, that's a really good price for this baby. But I had a lot of babies that I wanted to get so you know I had to prioritize which one I wanted to get and that baby did not make the cut so I was like well it's okay so then all right sorry about that guys it was my mom and she's at the store right now just grabbing a few things anyways I remember what I was talking about but I don't remember where I left off at so da 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 there was a baby that was $600 and I was like oh that's a really good deal but then I ended up not getting that baby and I probably either got I think I got either Susu by Natalie Blick at that time I think that's the baby I ended up going with but then I just recently saw this baby up for sale about a month ago and they didn't have the price but I was like you know what? I'll message and sometimes I am very hesitant on messaging people about babies for sale and I was like, okay, well, I'll message and see how much they're asking. And I asked, and they were like, 800. I mean, not 800, sorry. They were like, 1800. And I was like, did she add, did she mean to add this extra one? But I was like, probably not. So I was like, oh, you know, it's okay. No, thank you. And then that was that. So, so I just ended it like that. And I kept moving on with my day. I didn't attack her for pricing it more than what she bought it for um i didn't lead her on and say okay ask for a thousand and one pictures videos asking what the baby is coming with and all this nonsense knowing i wasn't going to pay 1800 for that baby i just simply said okay thank you i am not interested anymore have a good day and that was that it's really not that hard I don't know why people make it so complicated. Just say you're not interested. Don't leave people on scene. Don't continue to message them knowing you don't have the money. Just simply end the conversation by saying, okay, I'm no longer interested. Thank you. No one's going to take offense to that. And if they do, oh well. So I think this community needs to be a little bit more honest when it comes to things like that. Because it will help with a lot of time wasters. Because that is the main thing that I don't like about this community is the time wasters and is selling which is why a lot of the times I just like ignore it <laughs> and a lot of people have wasted my time and I've gotten to the point where I'm like okay if they message me again they're getting blocked or they're getting ignored and I don't want to do that because I know a lot of people probably do like seeing my babies I know a lot of people probably do like watching my videos but I can't do time wasters. I mean, I understand some people are children, but that's still no excuse to message people wasting their time because a lot of people do need these babies sold for bills and things like that. And when they get people constantly messaging them, you're getting their hopes up by leading them on and saying, you know, I'll buy this baby here, there, this date, this date, and you end up not buying the baby that give people's hopes up like one time i was selling a baby i don't remember who it was like probably back in 2021 or the beginning of 2022 and i wanted i was selling a baby and i really wanted this other baby 
and I was like, if I sell that baby, I'll be able to bring home this baby because I won't have any, I'll have enough space for that baby. So I was like, okay, this is good because you guys could see I have too many babies and not enough space, but I was like, I'll be good. So somebody messaged me asking about a baby and basically I just wasted my time for like two weeks straight. And I was like, now nah, I can't even get this baby because I have no space to put that baby at since this baby didn't leave. So anyway, it just gives people hopes up. I'm totally off topic, but please, please, please just be honest and say you're not interested. It's not hard to do at all. But yeah, so back to the prices and things like that. Again, I understand why people want the prices out and why they don't buy babies that don't have the prices out. And then again, I understand why people decide to not show the prices. Of course, if it's for malicious intent, like you're giving people different prices, then that's a big no. But I understand why some people don't have the prices because if you're that interested, you will message them instead of commenting on every single post they have asking how much the baby is when you can simply send them a message, get the price there. If you're, able to, if you're not able to afford it, keep it pushing. If you are able to afford it, then go ahead and get it. So I do understand from both perspectives. I would like if a lot of the prices were out there <laughs> I know that's a little hypocritical of me to say since I only show my prices and put them on Facebook instead of both Instagram and YouTube as well. Uh, I do think if the prices are out there, it's a lot better. But, I mean, it's not really stopping anything because like I said, if you really want the baby, you'll get it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I had this topic in mind for a while. But I keep seeing people like asking why aren't prices out there. So I just wanted to go ahead and clear that up. So yeah, a lot of people, they do get told their artwork costs a lot. And when it's an artist that you're telling that to, it probably does hurt because they're like, well, A, B, and C have their price at this, which is way more. My work is the same or better quality in their eyes or it could be true. So they're like, dang, why can't I price my work like this but everyone else can and you guys aren't talking about them either so I definitely do get it and then sometimes when sellers get told their babies cost too much I'm like hey this is how much I bought the baby for either take it or leave it <laughs> or this is less than what I bought the baby for so if you guys think this cost a lot then clearly I got gypped or something because I bought the baby for way more than what I'm asking so I again I get it from both both perspectives you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about it? Do you guys prefer to buy babies that have prices out there? Do you guys prefer to have buy babies that don't have prices? Does it matter to you? Does it not matter to you? You guys go ahead and let me know in the comments. I do want to get this video edited and uploaded by tomorrow, but I do have more work tomorrow. But that shouldn't that shouldn't stop anything since I don't have work today and it's like almost one o'clock, so I'll be okay to go ahead and edit this video and get it out tomorrow. I want to have a video out monday wednesday friday saturday sunday if i can i haven't did that schedule in a very very long time <sighs> there is a reason for that but the video is already long enough so we're gonna go ahead and end it if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on instagram you guys can do so my instagram is maya underscore reborns i did private my account a few months ago and i kind of like it private but it really didn't make a difference if it was private or public. But I had it public for so long, for like two, three years. And my account has always been private since I made it back in 2013. So it's just kind of, it was kind of crazy that I had it public for so long. But the only reason why I had it public was because I was selling babies and no one could find my account if it wasn't public. So I did that to try to help me sell babies. It didn't work. So back to private. But she looks so ridiculous in these shorts. Oh my gosh. I really thought she was going to look so cute in this outfit. I was like, she's about to eat the girls up. Like, she's going to look so cute in this outfit. <sighs> I probably would change her shorts. But I, again, I'm not sure because she just sits here all day. And it's not like I'm doing anything with her or taking her outside or anything. So she might just keep this on. <laughs> Anyways. That is pretty much it for today's video. Again, I'm going to do her hair off camera, so guys will probably see that in a future video that i do with her 
If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want in the comments, including if you request and I will subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button also read that, but you guys be notified when I post another video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.